Hi all, welcome back. In this video, we will talk about network tires, which is available in Google Cloud. So basically, whenever you create a VM or uh, you create a load balancer, you will see there it will show us two type of network tires. That is premium tire and the standard tire. So we will focus why there are two types of tires. So basically, before there is only one tire that is premium, but after that Google introduces standard tire also. So there are some differences in pricing and all that. So we will see in this video. So basically, first of all, first of all, the routing. So what will happen in the premium tire? The traffic between the internet and your application travels within the Google Cloud network to reach our users. So it will never go over the internet. It just travel within the Google Cloud network, which is has created. It as we know, Google has a wide and very big cloud network. So traffic will move around that only. And if you choose a standard, it use kinds of peering ISP or internet service provider or transit networks to reach your users. So it is, we can say it will take some more hops to reach to your network, and this premium tire will take less hops to reach to your like uh, destination or source as uh, for like how the traffic is being flowing. And for the security, the, the traffic is protected by like Google Cloud backbone until the last mile last mile like if you have a destination so before that it can just uh, go out from the google network to your destination and it is like comparable to other public clouds it has also security that is not that anyone hack your traffic but it has still some security issue and networking features like it support all the google cloud networking features this premium tire and for the standard tire it only supports foundational feature set like net regional load balancer and pass through network load balancer it doesn't support all the features of google cloud networking and pricing premium pricing as parity with other public cloud it has still less uh, costly with other cloud providers but still it is little bit uh, uh, like uh, uh, more as compared to standard tire and for standard it is a like, cost effective and and it is also like less with other cloud providers if you compare and sla is 99.9949 and it is for 99.939 so we have to make sure that we choose a tire according to our need so let's see what are the use cases like if you have a large enterprises so basically you need a premium tire only because your workload or services need to running across the globe and with low latency and high performance so if you need a low latency like minimum hops between your uh, like the source and the destination that that will be a very good if you go with premium tire and your if your uh, like users or user base is like expanded or over is over, over over the internet over the globe so it's very good to use like premium tire and cloud native service provider if you need like Downtime, so if there's any downtime, you will lose money and customer. Then it will be good to use premium tire because uh, that network is supported by uh, like Google backbone. And if you go over the internet, internet, maybe there's a chance that there's a fiber cut and your traffic will drop or you will face some latency issues. So that will not happen with Google backbone network, as we know that uh, it is supported by Google backbone. So it is very high net, good network, and it is a multiple backups inside that network also and it also depends what your application or workload if it is a mission critical workload and you want high levels of availability and performance across the globe so then you must choose that um, premium tire and for the other workloads here where you don't uh, like to care about optimizing or like you need the cost must be the main factor then you can must go with the standard tire and also if your services are deployed in a single cloud region and you have a very tight budget and you don't want and you can like some trade off also with some performance and availability for the lower cost like you want to save some money and with a tight budget also and you want that it will be okay that the performance will be low but there is a tight constraint and you want to save some money so basically go with the standard tire and let's go with the standard tire and how the traffic flows within this so in the premium tire traffic's uh, from external system to Google Cloud resources by using Google low latency, high reliable Google network. And as you know, Google has multiple fiber network over 100 points of presence across the globe. So the traffic is designed to tolerate multiple failures and disruptions while still delivering traffic. Premium tire supports both regional external IP address and global external IP address for VM and load balancer. 
And if you are using a global load balancer or any, any global external IP address, that must use premium tier only. So basically, how it works? Suppose you have a GCP here, uh, any resources here, and you want to send some traffic or or any end user want to reach to your resource. So basically, it will first go to your ISP, and ISP just forward the traffic to your nearest Google, uh, like point of presence pop and from it enters a google network and from there it will reach your google cloud platform and same from return traffic also it will just in, enter into google cloud platform and it will exit near to the internal service provider your isp from the pop and it will do the end user so very less host between and if you go to standard uh, tire standard tire also delivers your traffic from external system to google cloud resources routing it over the internet and packet that leave google cloud networks are delivered using public internet so this is the main thing yeah, it was a public internet and are like subject to delivery of uh, intervening transit providers and isp like how they are performing and standard tire also provides network quality and reality compared to other cloud provider it is still good than other cloud providers and if you use so standard tire also includes a free tire you don't have to enable it it is automatically enabled whenever you choose that and with provided 200 gb of free standard tire uses per month in each region so you and that you can use across all of your projects on a like per rescue basis so what will happen uh, your google cloud platform is here it will exit to our network near so like from the pop and after that it will go over the public internet so suppose there are multiple hosts, it will traffic is flowing like this, and after that it will reach your ISP, and in the, uh, and after that it will reach the end user. So like we can see here, only some little very little hosts, and it will just reach into ISP. But after it reached uh, exit the Google network, it doesn't directly reach to your end user. Like here, it will just go to a service provider and reach to the end user. But it will travel all over the internet, and we can see how how many hosts it will take in. So there will high latency also that not that much of latency but if you have a mission critical or your perform you need a very high performance then it's better to go with premium tire and there's a like flow chart also like why you what you need and what your uh, like requirements you can just check out this uh, network your flow chart so if it let's see what it shows so like what is most important high performance or low latency if it is very important for your application or your organization there is the best you can go with premium tire and if it is cost saving so then there are some more options so do you have any vm deployed in multiple regions so if it is a multiple region it means it is a global uh, kind of global only so for example you have multiple regions that need to be set by vms if no then we can go on this point yes is, is it okay to send traffic from region to region over the public internet instead of the google network if that's okay you can send traffic over the public internet then you can go to here if it is not okay to send over public internet you wanted google premium backbone network then go with premium tire and if you want to use global uh http ssl proxy tcp proxy or and if you even use cdn then also you have to go with the premium tire as these all three sub doesn't support standard tire and if you don't want to use all these things then you can just go with standard tire so that is kind of theory I want to discuss and like what the other options and how all these. So basically let's go to console and see how it really affects our traffic and how less hopes are there. Let's go. Here I am in my console. So let's first of all go to here. If you click on here, reserve external static IP address, you will find some options here. So we will not reserve it, but just we can give a name as of now. We have two tires. We can see standard tire in, and premium tire. And if you want to change the current project tire, what is this like? If it is already been the default one for my project, you just click on change and it will open a uh, like a new page in which you can change the default uh, uh, project tire for your network for your project. So what will happen if you don't select anything like standard or premium? Premium will always be selected. So let's go here and we can see we can click on this change tire. So if you click on see, it has the option of there's a lot premium, premium recommended, but we can choose standard. It doesn't mean if you choose a standard, you cannot choose premium. So while creating a VM, what will happen? Standard will always be default one, but you can choose as premium also. And we can see 200 GB month 
per free in every region so this is the free tier it, it provides let's don't change it and after that if you want ipv4 ipv6 premium is only there if you go by standard only ipv will be supported and if you want global then you have to choose premium only because standard doesn't support premium and if you choose standard there is only option of regional so regional traffic is only with uh, like standard supports premium also support regional that doesn't mean that it doesn't support but for the standard you cannot choose global and if you want to use global you have to go with premium that's same for ipv4 ipv6 so let's go to vm let's click to vms one for standard and one for uh, premium so let's click let's name it standard mm, standard ip and machine configuration let's make it uh, here we will go here network interfaces and here we have the option of premium and standard so let's go with standard for this and let's make it done and let's click on create now let's click one more vm and uh, let's name it premium ip let's go networking and it is will be premium only with the default option for us and let's click on create so i have created my two i two vms now what i will do i will just try to trace route like the both from my laptop and see how my traffic flow to the uh, my that uh, these work like vms which are in google cloud so let me open my command prompt so let me copy this ip standard ip first and let me go here and do a tracer to this ip and let's see how many hops it would take so we as i can see like the, when i do my tracer for my standard ip and how many homes see it has taken first of all it has gone from my like lan and this is when it, it has gone to my broadband after that i am as i am from log trying from delhi india so it has first visited delhi then it goes from chennai then again another hope chennai then it reaches to mumbai then london then it go to new york again new york again chicago and after that it reaches over google like google cloud that is my vm inside the google cloud so it has taken so many of hopes now do the same thing for our premium ip and let's see how many hopes it will take for premium ip if i do a reset for it see it has only taken of five hopes total five sum of for my basically it directly reaches from my isp to directly to google cloud and we see from here if i try to test it it has taken so many hopes it has gone from chennai then mumbai then london then new york again chicago then it has reached to google cloud as i have told in the presentation also here if you can see if i that standard traffic like if end user go with internet service provider so yeah, it, this is my internet service provider that there is act cop after that it will go over the internet then it, it will reach the google cloud same here traffic is going over the Yeah, internet service provider. Then multiple host public internet like Mumbai, Chennai, Chicago, London. Then it will enter that uh, Google point of presence where Google main point of presence are present, and then it will reach the Google Cloud platform. And for the premium thing, it's uh, directly from my broadband, like from my ISP, it directly reaches to Google Cloud. So for that, we can see this one traffic. go to my internet service provider and it will reach to nearest google destination where the google point of presence is present and from there it will just enter into the google network it doesn't have to travel all over the internet so you can see how much latency i have saved by using this instead of this must of hopes i just used two three hopes and my traffic is entered into the google networks so that's mean the thing that i want to show you how premium tier is different from standard tier so if you want to same latency like high performing users like if you want like your traffic will reach your application as soon as possible and you want uh, highest performance better to go with premium tier and if you want to save cost and you want okay it will be okay there is some performance issue but money is more important you have a tight budget and you you have tolerate that traffic can go over the internet and that your website is not that much famous and and users are okay with that then better to you go with standard tier so it all depends on your organization needs so just want to show you how it all depends and you can make a decision according to it like what you want to use one more thing like i want to share before ending this video if you want to change any ip like if you want to go from standard to like premium tier suppose you want 
uh, right now I I want to use a premium IP because my users are facing the issue and you uh, think that you can just change the IP. So as you can see, there is one forty thirty IP. But if I want to change this IP, will not be remain the same IP. Will automatically change because Google Cloud maintain work uh, different pools for standard and premium IP. And even we cannot move from one standard region IP to different region. That also separate pool. You cannot just change the IP. That like you cannot just change the tire also like. So if I want to change, go to premium one from standard IP will change automatically. So that makes sure what we are doing. So I have updated it and I just moved to from standard to premium. So let's see if my IP has been changed. This is my standard one. Previously it is this. 30 and it has changed. So if you are going to upgrade your tire, network tire, make sure you will can face this issue. Your IP will change if you are using on the load balancer also. Your IP can change. So make sure you are ready to face some downtime. Like you have to update your DNS also with the new IP. So these are some things you have to make sure while doing all these things. Thank you very much. If any have any questions and suggestions, just comment it down. I will try to help you. Thank you.